onion. It's raining, but we are north and we are in France. We've still got um, quite a long journey to get through, that's for sure. But um, yeah, woke up to the pitter patter of rain on the roof this morning, but we're not complaining, not at all. Not after the weather that we've had on this adventure. So we're squaring the van away. Oh, there's no condensation in it this morning, but now there's more condensation. That's strange. We always crack the windows. That's why we've got the wind deflectors on there. We crack the windows only by about a centimetre, maybe. And uh, that prevents you from steaming up during the night. Sounds counter <coughs> counterintuitive. Excuse me, it sounds counterintuitive. But if you do suffer from condensation, it's because you need air. <laughs> there you go. Do you need air this morning? Yeah, I need air. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Freddie off the ramps and uh, get squared up and on the road. made our way further north in France and we are now at Bergerac not to be confused with the old TV program based in Jersey. Bergerac. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so a completely different view out of our window. Yuck. Yeah. But let's go and have a look. You're still my favorite queen of the night, a friend that's driven. Back in one of the most beautiful countries in Europe, in our opinion. Yes. Why very, is that? Very pretty. We love the architecture and the history of the places and the little windy streets. And the workmen <laughs> drilling in the background. <laughs> food's not bad. Absolutely. You're still my favorite queen of the night, my friend that's right. So we're in the heart of the Dordogne and it's horrible weather because of the time of year but can you imagine this place in the summer it'd be absolutely beautiful and I know there's old um, towns and villages in the UK but what I think is more unique in France is the architecture of the buildings never the two shall meet <laughs> everything's different in one way or another there's no groups and long groups of housing it's just uh, yeah, I just love the way that they uh, they build. <laughs> A 
it's lunchtime. And we've done really well on this trip. We've uh, hardly eaten in any restaurants or anything, so uh, I think we're gonna treat ourselves, beef it out. I think we're gonna uh, treat ourselves to a proper hearty meal, and then we'll um, have a continue for a look around, burn some calories. I have an admission to make. Until we arrived here, the name of Bergerac to me had only been synonymous to an 80s TV series based in Jersey. So I had absolutely no preconceived ideas of what this town would offer. All I can say is, how wonderful for me. We were able to amble along the cobbled streets of the old town with its half-timbered buildings, explore its plethora of independent shops and admire graffiti. What? Yep, admire the graffiti. In the years previous, the town had commissioned artists to paint or graffiti some of the town walls and what was left was a walking tour of a fantastic and unique artworks that appeared from nowhere and were big enough to watch us as we explored the delights on offer, including a fantastic selection of well-priced restaurants offering up their menu de jour. So there used to be a canal that run through the streets here and this was one of the ways they used to be able to manage and control the water coming from the door door So it's a little bit like a little Venice. Quite, uh, quite incredible. Canal du Cadu. times, long time ago, uh, last in use around the, between the 15th to 17th century. But it still is used to help run the water back to the Dordogne. I'm so impressed here. This is a real, real lovely place to explore, no matter the weather. So uh, yeah, I've got an anorak on just in case. An anorak? That's a word from the past. You wouldn't catch kids saying that nowadays, guys, would you? An anorak. <laughs> or me kagool. Or kangol. So, uh, but yeah. What an amazing place. So much history. And like I said earlier, not one building is the same. It's absolutely brilliant. We unfortunately didn't have time to visit some very interesting looking museums, but I suppose that just gives us reason to come back. So if we're ever going down to Bordeaux, or if we ever make our way back to saint Emilion. Bergerac will definitely be on that, that route, that's for sure. Do a loop or something like that as we come down into the Haute Vienne and then down into the Dordogne. Really impressed with this place. It's got everything here that you need. Amenities, loads of free car parking. Yeah, it's just really nice. What we may do at some point is put the best of France together. A little uh, montage with a route of the uh, best places to see. If you fancy coming over, if you've only got a couple of weeks, or maybe two to three weeks, then we'll put a little uh, itinerary together. Maybe, we'll see. And then we'll use it ourselves, because <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Bergerac marks the end of this adventure, but don't worry, because yeah. we'll be back on the road soon. All rainy. So that was a perfect ending to what can only be described as an epic adventure. Yeah. What a lovely way to end the tour in Bergerac on this wet, rainy, gloomy day, but we still had a fantastic time, although I'm going to get one over in the car park. <laughs> and that's it, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just making our way back to Freddy and then we're going to go up the road a little bit and stop 
and then uh, we'll be on another adventure soon, no doubt. So from Bergerac, we headed back home because we had a little restoration project to do, not on the house, but on Freddy, before we head back toward the UK. Freddy has been neglected. Um, these graphics are put on almost as soon as we got him. Um, I've got a big sheet of vinyl, cut the vinyl out, placed it on the van. To be fair, that was an absolute pain in the backside to cut that into the into the van and get it dead square. But it's seen better days. The graphics that have gone on over the top, they've shrunk and cracked. So it's time to uh, give Freddie a little bit of a revamp. Now I did paint these stripes on down the bottom here with um, Rust-Oleum paint. So I think what I'm gonna do is paint the side of the van to match the stripes because they're a lot more tougher than the vinyl. It's been on for five years, but like I say, maybe time for a little bit of a change. It's not a good sign when they just uh, come off relatively easy. You can see the wall was all trapped behind them, which is never good. So uh, yeah, hot air gun, loosen them off a bit. And, uh, let's get them off. It doesn't feel as if I put them on that long ago. But, uh, they've definitely, definitely seen better days, and they're uh, beginning. I don't think you can see the mark up there. They're actually holding and retaining water, which is never a good thing. taking a step backwards. look a little bit sad. I don't like it. There you go, look. You can see all the traps on. See all the bits where the moisture can get trapped. Greaser and half alcohol to help uh, get rid of some of the stains that the vinyls uh, helped induce.
So that's the uh, van masked off and now all we're going to do is uh, key up the paint. I'm going to go around panel wipe then I'm going to look at the paint see how thick it is I want it quite thick because what I don't want to do is be putting three or four coats on out here because the amount of insects that will, uh, that will attract so I'm going to try and get it done in a couple of coats so um, yeah next step panel wipe step after mix the paint so I'm using the small roller and as you put it on it looks like a disaster at first but be patient guys the little air bubbles and bits that you see will go flat eventually yeah, if you look close you can see all the bubbles it looks awful but you'll be surprised what you can do once paint dries I can remember as a uh, kid my dad had a type 1 and type 2 B dub campers and he painted them all by a roller and hand brush let the paint go hard and then flatten it down in the day. Paint side of things are now done. Like I thought, it's, it's warm, so the bugs have just gone and uh, jumped all over the new paint. That's all right, we'll let it go hard, the paint, and then uh, the bugs will just wipe them off. They're only holding on by their legs. They're not exactly uh, Linford Christie's legs, are they? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll wipe them off, then we'll flatten the paint back a bit, and then we'll polish it up, and then we'll put a deco on it. So, there you go, painted. A little uh, facelift for Freddy. <laughs> Thank you. 